let's look at the difference between uh, having and the where clause difference between having and the where clause listed by the example suppose we have a table called employee bonus that has got multiple entries we want to calculate the total bonus that each employee received then we would write sql command like this uh, select employee some bonus from employee and group by employee the group by clause in sql you can see that we use the group by clause with the employee column uh, what the group by clause does is allow us to find out the sum of bonus for each employee using the group by in combination with sum will allow us uh, to get bonuses of A, B and C. Suppose you want to find out employees who received uh, more than 1000 in bonus. You might think that you might uh, write a query something select where group by. Uh, where clause does not work <coughs> with aggregates like sum. If you look here, group by. <coughs> this is bad SQL so good SQL is select uh, let me guess it so the SQL uh, the where clause does not uh, work with aggregate like sum <coughs> in SQL it will not work because where clause does not aggregates like sum ever instead we need to use the having clause the having clause for SQL to uh, compare aggregates uh, to other values however where clause can be used with non aggregate value now the correct SQL would be select employee sum bonus from employee group by employee uh, having uh, sum greater than 100 so uh, group by where will not work and that's where we have to use having so we can see the difference between having and where in SQL that uh, where clause uh, cannot be used with aggregates but uh, having clause uh, can so one way to think is uh, that having clause is an additional feature uh, to the where clause so this is the difference between uh, having and the group clause